Hello, Dora Pinter here with Service Star Realty. I'm bringing you a little bit of an update and perhaps more clarity to uh, the differences between um, the CARES Act and uh, the Arizona Governor's Executive Order. The CARES Act is on a federal level and it only affects um, you if you have a loan on your rental property that is backed by FHA, Freddie Mac, Fannie Mae, or you, um, you apply for Section 8, um, or HUD, for, for example. So basically, um, the loan on your property has to be federally backed, and that is when you have to follow federal guidelines. Uh, those guidelines are pretty strict. Basically, we are not allowed to uh, even file for eviction, charge any late fees, um, or ask the tenant to move out. So no notices to vacate. Uh, when you come to us, hey, I wanna sell my property, please ask the tenant to move out. We can do it for 120 days. Uh, the Federal CARES Act um, doesn't even allow us to ask for proof of hardship. Um, on the other hand, uh, the governor's order here in Arizona allows us to ask for proof of hardship, and we have been doing that. And we are also able to get an eviction judgment, which is the lockouts that the governor's order stopped. So it is the sheriff that is not going to perform or act on, uh, on the lockout or act on, um, on the writ uh, when we file for one. So again, um, we are not going to be uh, spending your money and get eviction judgments uh, when they expire in 45 days and we cannot perform the lockout. That would be a waste of your money. So still the best course of action as far as we're concerned is doing payment plans and redoing them if the tenant misses uh, a payment, trying to slowly but surely uh, with being flexible and kind, getting as much money as possible in the circumstances. Um, also, please do not be surprised if we come to you and ask you if you have a loan on your property and if it is a government bank loan, because that will allow us uh, to comply with the federal guidelines, or rather it will allow us not to comply with the federal guidelines uh, if we don't have to. Uh, so, um, uh, we have, it, it is kind of complicated right now, and uh, we, we we're very happy to explain this to you in detail, and I'm sure that your property managers will go over everything, uh, depending on what situation uh, we are faced with. And we have two different pay or quit notices now, we have two different payment plans we use, and we have a flow chart that we follow to make sure that we don't miss any of, uh, any of the steps that we can take in order to uh, get you as much help as possible. So on a federal level, uh, it is a little bit, uh, the situation is difficult because the federal government wants to make sure that anybody who is uh, affected by COVID uh, doesn't get damaged. So uh, they are creating a situation when it is very, very helpful to your tenant. And we only hope that tenants don't take advantage of it. But at the same time, we would like to inform you that there are forbearance plans out there exactly on these very same federally bagged loans, not on any other loans, but the federally bagged ones. So uh, you are in a different situation when you have those loans on your property. Uh, I've done a couple of forbearance um, uh, forbearance agreements myself, and it was super easy. They don't ask any questions. They automatically grant you the forbearance for three months, and then you can apply for it for another three months. And uh, uh, they'll be approaching you with four different plans of working it out when the forbearance period is over. And uh, they may say that they report to the credit bureaus, uh, but according to uh, some banks that we check with, uh, they will report as an A and not as a 1. So it will be reported, but not, with, not having your credit. Um, so if you have any questions on the topic, uh, please reach out to us. We will be approaching you as well once your tenant is late. 
uh, or um, if we need to get information from you. So uh, the best thing that could happen if the coronavirus was over pretty quick and we could return to normal and hopefully it can happen soon. And in the meantime, just rest assured that uh, Service Star Realty is doing everything we can to help you get as much money as possible and, uh, and still follow all the federal and Arizona guidelines. We also have a new two-page uh, sheet of sources of aids uh, that the tenants can apply for, and we are sending that list to them together with any kind of notices that we send out. Uh, so we are hoping that they will also reach out to those agencies that can help them. Uh, and uh, and uh, at the end, uh, it will all work out. So hang in there, have a wonderful week, and please feel free to reach out to us anytime if you have questions. Thank you so much for watching.